six cells in series in a single strong container produce a charge of around 100 amps, enough to throw you across the room if you happen to touch both terminals. In each cell, the positive electrode is made up of several connected plates. Each plate is a grid of lead, coated with lead-4 oxide. The negative electrode consists of several lead plates connected together. Porous separators prevent contact between the negative and positive plates. The six cells are connected in series, positive to negative. Everything sits in a solution of 4 molar sulfuric acid and the plates provide a huge surface area for the reaction. Here are the half reactions. Six cells in series in a single strong container produce a charge of around 100 amps, enough to throw you across the room if you happen to touch both terminals. In each cell, the positive electrode is made up of several connected plates. Each plate is a grid of lead, coated with lead-4 oxide. The negative electrode consists of several lead plates connected together. Porous separators prevent contact between the negative and positive plates. The six cells are connected in series, positive to negative. Everything sits in a solution of 4 molar sulfuric acid and the plates provide a huge surface area for the reaction. Here are the half reactions. Lithium ion cells don't use metallic lithium, but lithium atoms adsorbed into the lattice of a graphite electrode. While the cell is discharging, this is the anode. Here, Lithium atoms are oxidised to lithium ions, releasing electrons, with the lithium ions migrating into the liquid electrolyte. The cathode is usually a metal oxide like cobalt oxide. During discharge, it drags in electrons, which then combine with lithium ions from the electrolyte to form a complex precipitate at the cathode. Here's the equation for the overall cell reaction. The lithium reaction is unique in that lithium ions migrate through the electrolyte. This makes the cell readily rechargeable. The lithium ions don't need to be in direct contact with the electrodes. Being in the electrolyte is enough 